Bonjour, Manona. Bonjour. It's always good seeing you, you out on are the you island. In there? <laughs> I'm, I'm in here. <laughs> this is a little flip video. It'll go up on YouTube and it'll get seen by thousands of people with very little editing. But it gets around. It gets around. So we get to tell a little story here. We get to bring back uh, the oratorical skills of the Anishinaabe. You're a good speaker. You talk, you talk today about food sovereignty, about the wild rice, about the squash, about the sturgeon. And Robert Van Zyl added a story about how somebody suffering from diabetes went back to a diet of Manoman and didn't need to go back to a Western hospital. Is that what this movement is about? I think that the movement to recover our relationship to our food is multifaceted. It is a spiritual movement to ensure that our relatives, whether they have wings or fins or roots, have a place in this world and that our respect and regard for them is clear. It is a movement about recovering our health because our present diet causes diabetes, heart disease and illness, uh, as well as our lack of exercise. Turns out that a hoe is a garden implement, and one can use one and get in good shape. Uh, it is a movement about, you know, one time I heard um, Paul Smith from Oneida talk, and he said, I don't think you can talk about sovereignty if you can't feed your people. I think that's really important to remember because I think that a lot of people like to talk about sovereignty as if it is related to money, jurisdiction, casino. I think that's also related to what you are, what you eat, and where it comes from, who controls your economy. So for me, it is multifaceted. We talked to uh, Mamengua Ikwe. She went out to Kansas following a monarch butterfly migration. When she got out to Kansas, the monarch butterflies disappeared. They had no place to go because of the Angus. They were standing in their own feces. And the only plants you saw were corn and sorghum. It's called a monoculture, and it's killing us. What about planting out on this island will restore health to the community? Well, this island here is uh, free from those poisoned foods. They don't garden that way right here. And so you got a shot at uh, growing really old varieties free from the threat of genetic contamination. And that uh, is a good place. It's a good place to start that here. How would one go about establishing a stronger native presence on this island? I think we keep coming. We build relationships. We start gardening up here. You know, there's land on the north side. I hope to see that that land is returned, you know, to uh, Red Cliff, you know, Bad River, that they, that they do not with, uh, they do not renew the leases. And then uh, I think I like to see over time our people buy back a little bit of land here there. Some of these tribes have some money. They should buy back some of their own land. Anything you'd like to add? Stuff. Things go well for y'all. Okay. This is Nick Vanderpie and Winona Leduc on a Madeline Island for Indian Country TV.